Hey learner, welcome back to my channel. Please like and subscribe for more content. There is a great desire to measure the success or performance of our country. Therefore, to fulfill the desire for a reliable method of measuring economic performance, we use national income. Pioneering work in this area was done by the economist Simon Kuznets. According to him, uh, the national income as the net output of commodities and services flowing during the year from the country's productive system in the hands of the ultimate consumers. So, in a simple word, national income means the value of a goods and services produced by a country during a year. So, it's a, uh, it is a, a total amount of income occurring to a country from economic activities in a fixed period of time, suppose like a one year. The level of economic activity that is taking place in an economy is vitally important because it determines the quantity of goods and services that will be produced in the economy. This in turn gives an indication of the material well-being of the people of a country. Every year, the Indian economy produces a large number and a wide variety of goods and services just like uh, such as a uh, wheat, uh, car, uh, uh, apple, household things, uh, buildings and me uh, med uh, medicines, uh, medical equipment, uh, clothing and footwear, fuel and light, education training, mobile, uh, pensions, transport things, uh, housing, uh, holidays, uh, foods, every single thing. So, the more of these goods and services that the economy produces, more we will have available for consumption and the better off we will be. So, the national income accounts provide information on the pattern of economic activity. Nowadays, the national income is regarded as accounts of the economy, which are known as social accounts. So, on that case, uh, it enables us to know about the relative importance of the various sectors of the economy and their contribution towards the national income. And uh, from the calculation of national income, we could find how income is uh, produced, how it is distributed, how much is spent, saved or taxed. To formulate the national policies such as uh, monetary policy, fiscal policy, other policies, the proper measure can be adopted to bring the economy to the right path with the help of collecting national income data. And also to formulate planning and evaluate plan progress like it is essential that the data pertaining to a country's gross income, uh, gross output, uh, gross saving etc. from different sources for the economic planning. And also to make an uh, international comparison, inter-regional comparison, inter-temporal comparison of growth of the economy during different periods. And we must say that uh, national income is the importance to build economic models both in a short run and the long run also and finally to arrive at many macroeconomic variables such as a, a tax, GDP ratio, current account deficits, uh, a fiscal deficit etc. And so we must say that there is a continuous flow of uh, goods and services which we will Call the business and individuals who typically live in a family unit called household. So, on that case, the national income is a very, very important thing. And the nature of the direction of these exchanges of the households are presented in the circular flow model of a income and output. 
hand now we just discussed uh, look at the uh, flow chart or the picture here income and output are the flow concepts that is they are measured over a span of time the flow of incomes from businesses to households and vice versa will continue on as a stable and equilibrium magnitude if income received is utilized or is spent at the same rate and if there is a no shaping of the funds or the resources out of the flow um, i can give you an example suppose a teacher supply of a services brings in income that can be used to buy automobiles uh, vacation food and other goods in sum the total spending is the total amount that the household spends and that equals the total amount of the buyers of the factors had to pay so in other words we must say that the total spending equals total income so so the national income of a country can be measured in a three ways and the three ways are gdp expenditure or the expenditure method factor incomes method and value of output the value added method we uh, we know the value added method that so this is uh, like like it can be seen as the total value of goods and services produced in a country per period and this is called the product method or the value added method and important methods of the national measuring national income is the income or the flow of earning methods and the expenditure method although these methods differ they give the same final figure if we ignore minus statistical discrepancies so in case of the expenditure method we use the consumption government spending investment spending uh, change in the value of stocks export imports and it's known as a gdp and this method was uh, has already been discussed in our early video in case of the factor income method we use the income from a people in a jobs and in a self employment a profits of a private sector business rent income from the ownership etc so on that case the equivalence of income and expenditures are always used in case of the measuring the gdp or measuring the national income and we use the specially income approaches or expenditure approaches and on we simplify this measure of the value of the goods and services produced by the measuring total income earned by those who take a part in a production process and an alternative way measuring the national income to calculate the value of goods and services produced in an economy to measuring the income method so that's all for today guys if you like my video then please like and subscribe my channel for more content today we we are discussed about uh, national income the importance of national income uh and the flow of the national income and also the measuring national income so thank you so much